is five minutes of daily news with Doug. First, we'll start out with what Trump said he would give to many Americans. He Trump said that he would give two thousand dollars to many Americans and three hundred billion to some small businesses. That's a lot of money, but if parents aren't working and they have to supply, then you have to get something to do it. And small businesses, some are, there's probably going to be a lot declaring bankruptcy. So, I this is a good thing. Utah this morning had a 5.7 magnitude earthquake. It's the big, most powerful earthquake since 1992 in Utah. It was mainly hit Bountiful, Salt Lake City, and Utah County. 55,000 people, roughly around there, lost power. And there was a lot of damage. I know school buildings were bricks were fall fell out and so yeah did a lot of damage to everyone um okay this is interesting in new york city they have a lot of coronavirus cases but the mayor of new york city reported that 279 cases had well they reported 279 cases from morning to night maybe not even that long i don't exactly know they said he said that there were 923 cases and 10 deaths in New York City, which is a ton of cases. Um, next is plenty of stores said that they were they had enough food. They were said they were restocking. I. It is good. Let me just say this: it's good to have two weeks worth of food and toilet paper and everything. Just in case a power, I mean, not power outage, lockdown happened, a quarantine for two weeks. That That is probably the responsible thing to do. It's not like you need to be pushing your way through to get food and everything. But it is good to have a supply of food. The um, Trump declares Defensive Production Act, which is a good thing. Um, okay, out of all of this, when, this is when everyone needs to come together and help stop this, or do something to end this coronavirus, but over all of it, it's, the world today is real bad, something needs to stop, we need a lot of police, the police, I thank them so much because they do so much for this, um, country. And they really help us out a lot. But there was a um, Baltimore shooting that had five injured police were involved. I think one police was hurt. I don't exactly know. And there was a Des Moines shooting just hours ago with a juvenile hurt or injured. And yeah, so I don't know what to say about that. This is, I don't even... It's not the worst thing that's going on right now, but it's still really bad. It needs to stop. And I just think the police are doing, trying their hardest to end this. I'm really grateful for police in the country. Okay, the last thing I have, because I don't want to go over my five-minute time, is ki just just a fun thing or interesting thing, not fun. A mom had a, to a, mom had a toilet paper stash. And it was probably two weeks about. She had it hidden and the kids found it. So one of the most stressful things for people right now are the parents that have to supply for a family and homeschool them. Because I know my school shut down for a while. We, found that, we find out at 5 o'clock tonight what's going on and how long it'll be shut down. But this mom had a ton of toilet paper and the kids completely ruined it by throwing it in the bath. That's absolutely terrible. I'm sure they were young. I'm so sure, sure she was mad. But I don't know. Kids are kids. So yeah, I will show you pictures of what happened today. Our daily news after I wrap this up. Alright, thanks for watching. Daily news, five minutes every day or every other day. 
and I will see you later.